Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gion. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gion. Have you experienced in your life seasons where nobody wants to help you? And you are just knocking doors and talking to people. Hey, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And suddenly there is no one. And you wonder, why is that? And on the other hand, there are seasons where you need help. And suddenly somebody shows up and somebody else says, I'll help you. And sometimes you, without you even asking for help. Have you ever thought that help somehow is like the result of a seed? What I mean by that is that perhaps what you need to practice more and more is your desire of helping others, doing something for somebody else in such a way that there is no gain for you. That's unusual, right? Because most of the time people just want to do something in order to get something in return and, and that, that is as you will say probably is understandable right you do something and you are expecting somebody's going to pay you or somebody's going to do something for you as a result of that act of kindness but what if suddenly you decide that you are going to start helping people without expecting anything in return directly immediately by those people. Can you imagine that kind of lifestyle? Well, that is exactly the right thing to do. Of course, you will have difficulties trying to please everybody and help everybody. It's almost impossible. But the point is, you can make an effort to try to help people. That is something that you can try. And you know what? It's possible that you will find great experiences in helping people. Perhaps even you will learn new things. And it is a fact. Your act of kindness today uh, in, in behalf of some help, some people, helping people, are going to be act of kindness of others for you in the future. Maybe not immediately, but uh, somehow it's like you are saving money, you know? It's a good thing when you think about kindness and goodness being done that way. That should be your code. Not because you want to gain always something. No, simply because it's your, it's your code. It's the, the, the lifestyle that you choose to have. Helping people. The beautiful, the wonderful part about this is that it's going to happen. In the future, people will be happy and delighted to help you because they know that you never refuse to help others when you could and they ask you for help. By Giancarlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered. But what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Hey, 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 
That's all. That's all. That's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.